Hi everyone, um, my name is Cal. I wanted to show you how to use the Pulse Smart Pen from LiveScribe. Um, basically what you do is first you turn it on. There's a button right underneath the word Pulse on the pen. Um, it'll take a couple of seconds. It says starting right now. And once the time shows up on the screen, that's when you know it's ready. Um, so basically what I usually do is I put my, the headset that came with the pen, I put that, I plug it into my pen. The reason is that on the headset itself, there's small uh, microphones. And those are useful for a big classrooms like, you know, usually in Pimentel or Wheeler or something like that in the big lecture halls. If I'm sitting somewhere in the middle or the back, the headphones really make the sound quality that's recorded with the pen a lot better. So I'm just going to do that, uh, plug the headphones in, and I usually slide them underneath my notebook. And they have, you just want to make sure it's about six to eight inches apart, like you would if, you know, if you had them in your ears, they'd be six to eight inches apart. I just put the notebook on top and I'm ready to go. Um, the first thing you do as soon as the professor starts, um, you know, lecturing, hit record, and you know, oh, the screen will say recording on it, so you know everything that's being said around you is being recorded. And just start taking notes as you would normally. Um, I'm going to pretend like I'm in my uh, anatomy class and pretend to be Dr. Lewis. So today we're going to talk about the cranial nerves. There's nine of them, one through nine. And the first one goes to face, second one goes to the ab, third one goes to your legs, blah, blah, blah. I mean, these aren't accurate, but I'm just doing it for the sake of demoing. And then she goes on about bones. There's a fibula in your leg somewhere. I think there's a patellar bone, which is the knee. Um, it's surrounded by the synovial fluid. That's what keeps it moist and lubricated, so it you know, moves in all directions without any problems. And thank you for coming. Lecture's over. I'm going to hit stop at the bottom of the page. So now I have my lecture recorded for class. Um, now I go back and I'm studying for the test, um, and I realize my notes aren't that great. So what you can do is uh, simply tap on your notes from here on out, and you can re-listen to Dr. Lewis explaining things to you as you wrote them. So let's get a little demo of that. So I'm just going to hit on random parts of my notes and just follow along, and you'll hear uh, me talking about those parts. So, for example, the cranial nerves. First one goes to face. Second one goes to the ab. Third one goes to your legs. Goes on about bones. There's a fibula. And you think there's a patellar bone, which is the knee. Novial fluid. That's what keeps it. There you go. You get an idea of how it works. So it's really helpful. Um, when you're studying and going through your notes and there's certain parts you aren't so clear on and your writing isn't as clear, you can simply tap on and re-listen to your professor explaining it to you.